All right, now let's go play a game of how many incredibly expensive and rare Porsches can we find? Let's go. Okay, I love living in Chicago. Don't get me wrong, very cool city, lots of very awesome opportunities, but it gets so cold out here, it snows, and it's cold for nine months out of the year, and I just get a little sick of it, but that doesn't matter today, because I am headed to Miami for a very special event. Let's head to the airport. So I'm not just going to Miami for fun and games, though that's definitely a plus. I've actually been working on a project for a few weeks now. It's, actually I'll let Pass Graham explain. What's going on everybody? I am very excited to share that I am working with an amazing company out here in Chicago, Midwest Performance Cars. They are high-end luxury car specialists, but their main gig is Porsches. And they are building a beautiful 1967 911 Carrera, and they are gonna debut it at the Das Ren Treffen Auto Show in Miami, and they only have eight days to finish this build so i'm helping him out i'm getting some coverage i'm gonna follow him to miami to premiere and in order to affect the mating and escape with his life he had to be both gotten here just before the show started. I'm loaded down with like 80 pounds of gear, but I'm gonna make it work. This is the coolest showing of 9-11s that is probably in the world. Even in February is a bad idea. First off, can you, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Sebastian Mercader, Mercator. Uh, this is my 1993 964 C2 in Amazon green. Uh, and it's my baby. Let's see what I've done to it. I've done, I bought it on, U in, uh, on eBay for a good price and it was pretty much destroyed. And so it's an outlaw, as you can see, it's got the outlaw wheels. I changed the exhaust. Those are actually 993 seats I got on eBay. I redid the dash, I actually resprayed it, uh, the purists hate it, I love it, <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's my baby. Are you from the area? Yes, I am from Miami, uh, I've been in Miami 20 years, uh, I've had uh, Esmeralda is what I call her, because it's an Amazon green, emerald green car, and I've been in Miami for a while and I've had this car for almost five years. Five years? So you said you found it on eBay and it was trash. What, what exactly was the condition like? It was uh, it was stolen at one point in California. Okay. So, uh, so I had a salvage title, and that's you know, and the, it was keyed and had all these you know, the, the seats were destroyed, the dash was destroyed. I mean, if you can see, I changed the, the put a moment prototipo. I redid the dash. 
um, changed the seats. Uh, someone had keyed it, so that's why I had it resprayed. I want to do my own. I wanted to create my own patina in the car. Yeah. And then I got the 52 Outlaws, uh, the Magnus Walker wheel, and that's it. Exhaust waste, I got a tab speed exhaust uh, with a chip, and uh, it has an RS clutch, and fly, I mean flywheel, and uh, I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff, I'm probably forgetting stuff. That's big old whale tail turbo here. This is a whole turbo row down there. So, a few good things. One, the sun finally came out. Uh, I'm glad it's just not raining. If the weather had it raining, pretty much the entire event, so I'm glad that's not happening. Uh, two, I found this empty parking garage. One, awesome, because when you're shooting cars, you always want to try and get uh, different angles. If you take every picture, you know, from eye height, it's gonna look like every other picture that's ever been taken of a car. So if you can get above cars, usually you can get some interesting results. Hopefully I got something good and I can post it up right here. But the third reason that this is good news is because now I get to fly my drone and no one's gonna bother me. Let's do that. That sounds like fun. What a fantastic event. I mean, I don't feel more at home anywhere than I do at a car show, surrounded by people who understand what it means to drive, to own these things, and to have a passion for the freedom and independence that cars, any kind of car, can give you. But I've been here for so many hours, and I have not eaten in a long time, and I am hot, so I'm gonna go cool off. God, after going to a show like that, all I want in the world is a car to go drive in. Okay, I rented the car, but could you imagine? <laughs> and while I've got this Z4 here in South Florida, I might as well do a quickie review. First impressions, I love this car. For those of you that don't already know, I daily drive a Mazda Miata when it's not in storage. And this is a really easy comparison to make, obviously. They are both rear wheel drive, two seater drop top coupes. They both are tight handlers and they both will get you made fun of but i love these kinds of cars and i love this specific car this is a 2006 bmw z4 it is powered by a three liter inline six actually borrowed from the uh, same year bmw 330 funny enough i was going to compliment the sticky tires but this side of the car has Michelins. And if we walk around to the other side, this one has Pirellis. So sort of a mixed tire situation going on here, but that's all right because it still handles really, really well. I'm gonna have to look up the steering rack ratio, but I mean, it is lightning quick. It's heavy steering too. So you get a really sporty feel. Feels like you're having to wrestle it around the road. Back to that three liter inline six, it puts out about 215 horsepower, at least it did when it was brand new. And that is much appreciated. The Miata is sure balanced and fun and lightweight and blah, 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 but this one's faster. And faster is almost always better. Gonna have to admit that one. And it, the sound is also so much better getting on this. I love an inline six. Inline six is classic racing. Although I have to mention at about 5,000 plus RPM, I believe the red line is something around seven. It gets this absolutely obnoxious drone. I was taking it out on the highway trying to stretch its legs and it started reverberating throughout the cabin and it was just unbearable, which is unfortunate. I love the interior. It's actually holding up really well after 10 years. It's simple, but you don't need much other than the drop top, a gas pedal and an open road.